Hello friends. So in last video tutorial, we have seen uh, how to integrate your uh, Dialogflow agent with Integromat. It was just a basic integration. In this video tutorial, we will see how to integrate your Dialogflow with uh, Google Calendar and uh, Google Spreadsheets. So let's get started. So let's see how to integrate your dialog flow with uh, Google Calendar and Google Spreadsheet. So first of all, let's connect uh, dialog flow with Google Spreadsheet using Integromat. So I'm just going to create a new intent called uh, Save Data. Let's just call it Save Data. Let's add a couple of training phrases. Name. So let's <clears throat> just say we have to store name and age in a Google spreadsheet. Okay. All right. And what we will do is we will enable the fulfillment. So now when we type save data, it will ask for name and age. And finally, it will call the webhook and the webhook is already configured here. By the way, if you have not already seen my previous video on how to integrate dialog flow with Integromat, then please watch it by clicking on the I button. So I hope you have already done this, integrated your dialog flow with Integromat. Now go to your intents, click on save data. Make sure you have created this type of intent. It's a very basic intent. You can obviously create more complicated ones. For now, I'm just creating a very basic one. Just captures the name and age, and it will save that in a Google spreadsheet. That too using uh, Integromat. So no coding is required. Now let's go to the Integromat. So we, we are here on Integromat. Uh, so this webhook is already configured. Now we will add a module called Google Spreadsheet. So just right click here and click on add a module and just search for spreadsheet, Google Sheets and add a row. So now uh, it will ask for which spreadsheet to update. So. Uh, now, basically, you need to tell uh, Integromat which spreadsheet to update. Uh, so what I will go do is I'll create a new spreadsheet. So basically, you need to tell which uh, spreadsheet to integrate with. So what I will do is just go to my Google Drive. And uh, so I'll create a new folder called Tutorial Sheets and i will create a new sheet here called integromat demo sheet okay so let's call it uh integromat demo sheet okay now uh here uh it will ask for select the spreadsheet so i'll just do a refresh and then i'll try to find my demo sheet so it should be somewhere here yeah Integromat demo sheet and then it will ask which sheet so sheet one is okay it is asking table contains header I'll say no uh, which range so let's do one thing let's say table contains yes headers and uh, let's actually add, so add some headers so name and age so basically these are the two things that I want to save so for now i'll just hard code some value test name and then test age so let's just hard code this value for now okay and click on okay when the webhook is executed it will go to the google spread uh, google sheet module it will save the test data and uh, here in the response i'll just update this saying your data has been saved successfully okay we'll just show this message and finally this module will show the response i'll save it the scenario was saved 
and now it's time to try so just try now click on uh, try it now and type save data enter uh, okay it says your data has been saved successfully and that's because we haven't made it required so let's uh, give it a prompt what is your name and what is your age okay but that's fine let's check if anything is written in the spreadsheet and you see uh, the test name and test age is already written so that's good that means it's working now what we can do is uh, we can come here and uh, instead of writing test data we can write the actual data in the spreadsheet so just click on run once now let's try this save data what is your name type John what is your age let's type 24 uh, let's do it any so age is 24 and it says your data has been saved successfully so now if you come here and if you click here you see you you got uh, parameters here name and age okay so this is the data coming from uh, dialog flow so all you can do is uh, delete this text test data here and actually just click on name that means the name which is coming from uh, dialog flow the user enter name like I entered John that name will be saved in the spreadsheet in the column a similarly in the column B I can store the age and likewise you can store other values I don't want to do that for now it's just a quick demo so you can see now you can store the name and age in the Google spreadsheet click on OK click on save and now let's try again so if you see we have test data here let's delete that for now and come here save data what is your name let's call it uh, Tom and what is your age 30 yes your data has been saved successfully and if you see Tom and 30 has been recorded here in the Google spreadsheet okay now you can add obviously more fields you can go to integromat and uh, you can configure it accordingly and then you will see more data stored in the spreadsheet okay so i hope uh, you got the idea about how to uh, connect dialog flow with uh, google spreadsheet using integromat it's super easy now let's do one more thing uh, let's create a calendar entry also um, a very basic calendar entry using dialog flow and integromat so let's create an intent let's call it calendar and the training phrase is make calendar entry okay uh, and let's give event name and let's ask user for the event name so what is the event name right and then enable the fulfillment so basically what we want to do is when someone types calendar okay we want a calendar entry to be created in the calendar so let's go to integromat and now we want both routes to be working we want google sheets to be working and also the calendar route to be working to do that we need something called router so click here add 
had a router and what router does is it uh, uh, it splits the information into multiple routes and you can also write conditions okay so i'll show you that in uh, in a moment so just click here on the plus and you see uh, there is another route created here now we can add filters here uh, so we want uh, this webhook to be executed uh, in both condition when we uh, ask about google sheets like we want to save something in a google spreadsheet and also when we uh, want to save something in a calendar so basically we want this route so let me quickly align this uh, auto align yeah so what we want to do is when someone says i want to save a data in a save data in a spreadsheet then this route should be executed and when someone says i want to create a calendar entry then this route should be executed okay so i can set a filter here so this condition will be so intent and display name is equal to save data right so basically what i'm saying is when someone says save data then click go to this route and then similarly i'll set up another filter here and intent display name should be calendar here calendar is this one when someone says calendar go to this route now in this route i will add a calendar module just search for calendar google calendar and then there are multiple options here we'll just use create an event okay and then uh, create an event quickly <laughs> and uh, you can select any calendar from the drop down i'll just use my primary one and <clears throat> it will ask for the event name so uh, right now i'm just uh, typing test event from integromat okay test event from integromat okay and then I can just uh, use the same module. So you can clone this and yeah. And then similarly this and that's it. So this is just to send a response. And now I can just change the text here. Uh, I can say your calendar entry has been created. and save it okay so this one should be this uh, yeah so basically if you see this module has number seven here okay and if you click here uh, i need to reference the same json so i have referenced the correct json and now i can save it all right so now what we can do is we can run this module once and see if uh, we actually get a calendar entry so let me open my calendar as well so i'm going to type make calendar entry and it says what is the name of the event uh let's just call hello world event And it says your calendar entry has been created so now you see a uh, test event has been created okay uh, from integromat and now obviously uh, we want to do some more things we just don't want to give it a random name and date so what we can do is first of all let's give it a proper name the same name as we have given here so to do that just go to integromat come here and uh, 
instead of just saying test event let's uh, use the data coming from integromat sorry dialog flow so if you see event name it is hello world event so just click here event name so that means uh, the event name which is given by the user in dialog flow that event name will be used to create the calendar entry let's try again let's delete this entry make calendar entry okay and uh, what is the name of the event um let's call it uh, annual celebration something you can give it any name and if you go to calendar you see annual celebration the calendar event is created now let's quickly check if our spreadsheet route is also working so go to spreadsheet and try saying save data asks for name so let's give it a name Rahul page 40 and it says your data has been saved successfully and there you go Rahul 40 is saved so both our routes are working uh, we can create calendar entry as well and we can uh, you know save data in a spreadsheet as well um, well now you can do some advanced things so if you go to calendar you see there is an option of in detail as well uh, in here you can obviously configure start date end date and other details as well for now so obviously i can uh, uh, configure all the details here like you can add detail event name here uh, start date end date and you can ask those detail uh, from the user like you can create uh, new parameters here start date end date and you can pass those values here and you know from this and that way you can create a more complicated uh, uh, chatbot which uh, is integrated with your google calendar so in the next video tutorial i will show you more details about how to use other modules uh, that's it for this video i hope you like this video uh, if you have not already subscribed please subscribe to our youtube channel please like this video and please share this video with your friends and thanks for watching thank you Thank you.